Hey guys, it's Bina, and today I want to talk about uh, defensive aspects uh, in Diablo 4. So how to build defensively, what are the best stats to get, and how each system will work in depth. I have done a lot of testing uh, in the past week to um, just basically get a better understanding because I could not find the information that I really wanted to know. Uh, so we're going to talk about damage reduction while fortified, damage reduction while injured. We're going to talk about life percent, flat life, um, just all kinds of defensive aspects in Diablo 4. I have been mainly playing a Druid, um, so of course all of my um, testing was made on Druid and the stats that the Druid can roll and can get on its Paragon board, so keep that in mind. Um, but overall, if you want like a uh, TLDR conclusion at, at, at the start, um, Rubies are better than Sapphires most of the time for the Druid. Um, life percent is multiplicative. Um, damage reduction while fortified works like a one-shot protection. So if you get hit b uh, above your, your threshold of like uh, fortif fortification, you still get a DR for the portion of your health that was fortified. Damage reduction while injured does not work like this. Um, it works as you need to be injured first and then get hit to get benefit from the DR. Um, so that's kind of like the uh, the uh, the main thing that I wanted to say. But I'll go a little bit more in depth now if you want to stay longer into the video. So let's jump straight in, right? So first of all, I want to talk about life percent nodes. Um, life percent you can get in multiple places on your Paragon board. For example, right on your first uh, uh, on your first board here, you get this node here, maximum life. You get max two percent life here, two percent life here, uh, two percent, two percent, another four percent here. All of these percentage life only work on your base life. So you have a base life here. You have a base life, right? Let's say your your base life is one hundred. Okay. And then you have, for example, your first node is 2%. So that's going to be 102 life, right? But then that 102 gets multiplied by your second percentage uh, life node that you get on your board. So it's actually going to be 102. Um, it's actually going to be 102 times 2%. Right? So it's not going to be, uh, you're not only going to be getting an extra 2 life, it's going to be 2% uh, of 102 is going to be 2.4. So it's going to be 104.04 life. Um, and this gets, this goes infinitely, basically it's always a base times all of your multiplicative multipliers for your life. And then after all of this, you do plus your flat values of your life. And your flat values for life are things that you can see on your rings, for example, plus 1310 maximum life, plus 1310 maximum life. You can also get it on your helm, on your chest, and on your pants. So it's base life. Um, it's base life times your mul multiplicative nodes or gems, for example. All of your gems are the same as well. And also the um, uh, the spirit boon here for uh, Iron Feather, maximum life. Gain 10% x maximum life. Um, this is another mul multiplicative uh, multiplier. But all of those don't take into consideration added life on your gear. But they do take into consideration all of the other percentage that you get. Right? So that is one finding about life. Um, and this thing just makes... Uh, life really, really good in general. If you get a lot of life percentage nodes on your Paragon board, most likely that the uh, rubies are going to be better damage reduction than sapphires. And not only that, but you always get um, you you always get uh, life, whereas you don't always have your fortification up for your entire health pool. So that makes that makes rubies just even better. Um, so as you can see, the value for rubies are, is 4%. The values for sapphires is 3%. Okay, So that's without any added life. What happens when you add life is that your percentage life that you're getting is getting reduced um, compared 
like the value from rubies is getting reduced compared to sapphires because you're not getting 4% on your total life with the fat with the flat values but the good thing is that you mu you just want to get flat life on both of your rings and you don't really want to get it on your chest piece or your uh your pants so right now i'm running the build um the the werewolf tornado build uh which is the best druid no the best known druid build at the moment um and because of this, uh, we're getting a uh, unique helm, and the you don't want you want to run pants and chest without life because all of the other de uh, defensive stats for druid are just better than flat life for your total EHP. I did all of my calculations with uh, this very very handy uh, EHP calculator, which I I use a lot for last epoch, but I just basically used, um, use it as a template to calculate EHP because it's so easy to use and you can add custom DR modifiers. So if I just wanted to test, for example, like, uh, you know, 10,000 life and you get 3% DR on each of your gems, keep in mind that all of the DRs uh, for damage reduction while fortified, all of your damage reduction stats, damage reduction while fortified, while poisoned from close enemies, they're all multiplicative as well. So... Each gem, if you have five gems, it's your 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 EHP, and then you get three percent reduction, and then that amount gets three percent reduction from the second gem, from the third, from the fourth, from the fifth. So it's all multiplicative. Um, so this is how the system works, and it's like this for every single damage reduction stat that you get here. Um, so I use all of this for. Uh, um, I'll have a link in the description uh, below for um, the EHP calculator. Very handy tool to um, work with your, like, mess around with your Paragon boards, with your equipment and, and everything, and to test what gives you the best EHP for your current setup. So, overall, um, I found that when using my build with my Paragon board, using two or three maximum, uh, two or three uh, flat life rolls, it was still better to go with rubies. And then as I go higher than this, it was better to go with fortified gems. Overall, the difference isn't very, very um, uh, huge. Uh, it's just that rubies are just better, but people keep saying that rubies are worse. But I think it's very much a case-by-case -case basis and you need to basically calculate for yourself. But overall, I'd say in 90% of the cases for Druid, you want to go with rubies. Um, especially if you're playing Tornado, which heals up a lot, and so you have no problem getting your health back. Um, yeah, rubies are just better than uh, sapphires on the druid. All right, so now that we've talked about this, let me take a look at my notes here. While injured, okay. So damage reduction while injured does not work like Fortified DR works. Fortified DR, even if you get hit, for example, this is your health pool, okay? This is your health pool, and let's say, for example, that this is your fortify. This is your fortify level, but your health is here. If you get hit by a big hit that would bring you below your fortify level, for the entire portion, for the entire portion here that, that you get hit and your life is fortified, you get the damage reduction from fortify. Um, this is not the case with while injured, right? So while injured... If you, um, if this is your 35% while injured state here, because while injured is being below 35%, um, if this is 35% and your life is here right now and you get hit, that brings you below your, fortif your uh, injured state, all of the hit will not be mitigated, even though you should be mitigating the damage below 35% health. But when you receive the hit, you were not injured so the game doesn't take into account the dr while injured so that's my that makes while injured quite a bit worse than it should be so if we just take raw values while injured is about 15.15 percent dr okay on your total life if if while injured worked as soon as you got to 35 percent and lower um it it even if you get hit with your health above your threshold, it would be 15.15% DR. So it gets worse and worse. Like if, if the hit gets you below something like it gets you to 25%, for example, then you're losing quite a bit of value of that 15.15% DR. 
Um, because of this, I think, personally, uh, I don't put as much emphasis on getting damage reduction while injured on stuff like Amulet or Pants, for example. But um, absolutely on Boots, it's still very, very good. Uh, but yeah, that's how while injured DR works, and it is not like Fortify DR. So for that reason, um, I only get it on my boots, basically. This is the only DR da damage reduction while injured that I get. Um, we don't know anything about the armor formula. Well, not anything. We suppose that we know stuff about it, but we don't know exactly. So I can't really make like a, um, a statement about how much valuable this stat is but overall if you don't take total armor as your fort stat because you want to get damage reduction while fortified damage reduction from enemies that are poisoned and damage reduction from close enemies for sure and then you could take just uh damage reduction here for your fort stat because on your chest piece and on your legs you really really want to get all of the damage reduction that you can possibly get um because the uh it, it's just it's just way too valuable on these item slots um, so damage reduction 10.7% is better than the flat life roll that you could get 1310. It is better, so that's the reason why, and it also makes your ruby gems better as well. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much what I wanted to talk about. While injured, it doesn't work like um, for those of you that played last epoch, it doesn't work like endurance in last epoch. You need to be injured first, and then you get the dr. Um, Fortifi uh, damage reduction while fortified works like endurance, where even if you get hit above your threshold, you still get the DR for the portion of your life that is fortified. Life percentage is uh, life percentage like rubies and like what you get on your Paragon board. These are all multiplicative, and then your flat life is added afterwards. So it takes your base life times your multiplicative nodes or like multiplicative like percentages, and then it adds your flat life. Um, and yeah, for Druid, Rubies are just better than Sapphires in most cases. Like in 90% of the case, I'd say I would take Maximum Life Rubies instead of Damage Reduction while Fortified. That is pretty much it for uh, this video, guys. I hope this helps you guys. I hope this helps uh, choose between Rubies, Sapphires, and what stats that you want to get on each of your pieces of gear. Um, I'll have a lot more videos coming for you guys for Diablo 4, and I cannot wait. Please post in the comments if you have, like, uh, tested stuff yourself. So, I mainly do all of my testing, um, alone, and, uh, yeah, it would be really nice to get, uh, to get some of, some other people's input on this, as, you know, we are all only human, and we can all make mistakes, but my testing was really, really thorough, and for everything I talked about today, um, I am 100% certain, and I can back up my, uh, my statements with numbers and data. So, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.